Good evening, YouTube. Um, it's the uh, it's November November ninth. You had me this morning. Now you get me again tonight. Um, this is a great subject for tomorrow's vlog. Uh, why is it that companies feel they need to be sneaky in order to take my money? Specifically, I'm talking about WhitePages.com. They're a search service. Um, I was looking for contact information for somebody that owned a property close to me that I was interested in. So I signed up. I did their free service and um, didn't give me any information. It gave me some vague information and then all the little stars. And in order to get that information, you have to pay for it. So I paid, the, I don't know, 12 or 15 bucks, whatever it was, um, for the search. But apparently in, in creating the account, I agreed to a $30 per month subscription. $30 per month. Now, I don't know what that got me because I never technically agree. I guess technically I did agree to it, but I didn't actually agree to it. So they must have put it in the terms of service somewhere in there that I was agreeing to a $30 a month charge. Um, I don't use the service. I don't do background checks on people every single month. I have no reason to spend $30 a month for a service like whitepages.com. So um, just beware if customer, if you're going to use a company, um, make sure you read that little terms of service thing. I just got off the phone with some lady that was really rude. Um, I, I was very simple with her and I said, man, you know, your company charged me and I didn't agree. It's not something I would have agreed to and I would like a refund. And she went on and on and on and I said, ma'am, let me just cut you off. I don't need an explanation or a story. Just refund my money because I never agreed to it and we'll both go on about our life. And she spent 30 minutes of my time continuing to try and explain to me that, yes, I did agree to it and that um, they were doing me a favor by giving me a refund. So just beware. Um, if you're ever going to do business with whitepages.com, right there, it's uh, if you look, it's whitepages.com. If you're going to do business with them, be very, very careful. I wouldn't recommend um, that you that you pay for their service. There are other services out there like Zaba Search um, and a couple of others, but I wouldn't I wouldn't pay for their service at all. So just beware. Um, everybody have a good evening, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Um, got, a, got a lot of things to do tomorrow. Get ready to pack to leave for Cali on Friday. Have a good evening. Hey, good morning, YouTube. Hey. Oh, hold on one second. Got music in the background. Don't want to get caught for copyright infringement. There we go. Okay. Hey, good morning, YouTube. Um... You ever, you ever notice when you pack to go someplace that you're going to pack too much stuff? Um, I'm sitting here. I'm going to have a backpack. I'm going to have my computer bag with my two laptops in it. And I'm going to have um, tools and a trunk. I now pack. I now have a trunk. This trunk right here with all this stuff in it. I now have a trunk that I'm traveling with, courtesy of the wife. She says, hey, I found these trunks. Um, so apparently she's going to have a trunk too. Um, I've got my name and stuff written on them and I'll, you know, I'll pack them and then I'll put the, the tape around them to hold them. Gator tape, go Gators. Woo! Um, but you ever notice why you have to bring so much stuff? I mean, I'm bringing uh, chargers and I'm bringing tools in the event that the RV needs some kind of work. Um, you know, it's almost, it's almost, you know, I ask myself the question, why don't I just buy tools if I'm out there? And then if I don't need them, I don't bring them. But I don't know, there's just, you know, the tools that I bring, there's just so many varied. I bring electrical tools and mechanical tools and sockets and, you know, all that kind of stuff is what I did when I... I think I'm sliding there. The camera's giving me fits. Um, I don't know when I brought when I went to get out to Texas to get the van. I brought all that stuff, and you know I think it's a little bit of karma. If I don't bring it, I'm going to need it, and if I do bring it, I'm not going to need it. So I'd rather just pay the extra bag fee. I think it's like 20 bucks or something, 
pay the extra bag fee with the airline, put that sucker on there, and off we go. Cuckoo ka -choo. Um, Yeah, so that's kind of the way it works. But hey, um, on another note, I'm sorry about the anger rant last night against whitepages.com, but you know, I'm just tired of these companies putting or sliding these little, well, you're signed up for the $29.95 or $39.95 per month fee, and unless you cancel the account, uh, I didn't know I created an account. Well, yeah, I knew I created an account, but I didn't know I was agreeing that I had to cancel before the next billing period or something is the way the lady put it. So, um, you know, that's not cool. It's just not cool. It's sneaky. Um, you know, I wonder how many times, how many 30 or $39 payments they collect every month from people unknowingly. I mean, if I hadn't looked at my statement, I would have never known. Fortunately, it was on PayPal, so, um, you know, I looked at it and, hey, there it was. Ooh. Uh, I'm tired. Tomorrow's going to be a long travel day. We're up at 5, out the door by 6. <clears throat> the flight takes off at 9, like 10 after 9. We have to change planes in Denver because there was no direct flight to San Francisco, at least not on Southwest. It's just not a pretty thing. I don't like... Tra I like traveling, but I don't like travel days because they're, you know, they're a waste. I mean, it's a whole wasted day. My phone's going to go dead, I'm sure. Um, you know, it kind of is what it is. Um, yeah, we're going to be stuck at an airport in Denver. First time I've ever been in Colorado. Unfortunately, I'm not leaving the airport. But, but, I told you, I'm tired. But, back to my original thought, but, um, we will get back to Colorado. We're going by RV. We will get back to Colorado. Colorado is one of the places that I want to go. Utah is one of the places I want to go. Those are places that I would like to go. And we'll get there. We'll get there. We're not, we're not headed that direction on this trip on the way back. Our, our goal is to get the RV back to Florida so that we can rehab it and get it built back into an RV or something that, that similar to an RV with a workspace in it that we can we can both work and um, enjoy actually enjoy the enjoy the space you know <sighs> yep so in any event, the electrician was here, he looked at a couple of things for me, and uh, props to Winurka Electric. Uh, they rewired the house when I first bought it, because all the wiring had been pulled out, and um, got everything done real quick, relatively quick. Identified the problems, and uh, made an appointment, or will make an appointment to come back out and fix the other two issues. Uh, the main issues are that outlets don't work. There's one outlet that doesn't work, and one outlet that's not even there. So, is what it is. All right, in any event, that's the vlog for today, I think. And, uh, yeah, I'll hit you tomorrow a couple of times, but I don't think a video is going to go up tomorrow. It'll probably go up on Saturday morning. It'll take me a little bit of time because I know by the time I get done shooting some stuff, that um, by the time we get into San Francisco in the afternoon, I may throw the video together. I don't know. We'll see what happens, but um, yeah, it'll be Saturday. <laughs> it's not going to be tomorrow because I'm going to get into San Francisco and I'm probably going to crash. I mean, we're only going to get there at like four o'clock in the afternoon, but I'm going to crash. It's going to be it's going to be ridiculous. I'm going to go to sleep. So, all right. Good afternoon, good morning, good night. No, good morning, good afternoon, good night. Anyways, YouTube, catch you tomorrow or the day after. <laughs>